Hello and welcome back to Cathington. On this episode we've got some extra rolling stock, got a small update on the embankment and a look at my controllers. See you soon. Hello, as you can see I've got um, basically all my wagons out on the, on the table. Um, this is mostly because we decided to go to a model railway shop, a second hand model railway shop, and pick up some extra items. I don't know the chances are I'll find some rolling stock. So it's a good time for me to kind of recap of what I've got, just so I don't buy duplicates or, you know, and look for something different. And that's exactly what we've managed to do. So we went to Rocket Railways. You even got the bag? Whee. That's in Colville, Leicestershire. I'll drop the address and their website in the description below just so everybody can go and have a look at them. It's basically a second hand shop and it's rather big. It's got lots of rolling stock, lots of locos. There's even some like brand new Hornby stuff that's been barely used, if at all. Uh, so it's well worth a visit if you're nearby. So we picked up three items. First one, this was for £9. This is a British Railway wagon and I believe it's carrying beer. Yeah, I thought it was unusual, it should look good, it's distinctive and that's what I'm looking for. So I'll give that a try in a minute. The other one, which is a little bit more common, is the through bands. So it's basically a box van but with extra ventilation in the top there. It's rather nice I thought. Um, I can't remember how much that was. Because I walked away when the guy was pricing it up and I left it with Debbie. <laughs> I didn't want to know. But I'm pretty sure this is either £9 or less. So that's okay. And the same again for this. And this is a um, flat wagon um, for carrying wheels. As you can see there, I've got four sets of wheels in there as well. So I'm going to get all those out and get my trusty 08 to pull them along and see what they do. Something else we were able to pick up is a little bit of second hand track. So I've got a couple of extra left-handed points just because I've had a bit of a reshuffle and I just needed to put some left-handed points back in. Um, so hopefully I'll get that in place as well soon. Right, see you in a minute. Right, as you can see, they're actually rather nice. Now if I bring it back into view. The, um, the wheel, um, wheel loader, I think it's called. A uh, bit plasticky, but we can always weather that. Uh, but it looks nice. And the fruit van, it's very sweet. Like I say, those extra vents just give it a bit of extra character. It's going to stick out no matter what, where I put that. And then I've got that other one, which is either be a load. And again, the, this red plastic is a little bit much. But if I wanted to turn that down a bit, we could. Just a bit of weathering that would, that would look quite nice. Right, and just a final quick update on the embankment. All the final pieces are in place. Done a bit more fencing, a bit more dirt, and a bit more um, foliage, and a few kind of broken fences and things. I'll in focus. And a quick backdrop. This is a backdrop I've had for a while. It's just printed paper. It's just kind of take off that edge, and it makes the whole thing look rather sweet. So that works. Right, hello. I just want to quickly show you how I've been storing my controllers. So we've got the, the Hornby controllers, simple but effective. And typically, because the only space I've got left on the on the decking is right there next to the, the layout. Yes, they are back to front. And yes, I've been using them that way. And that's crazy, I know. So I eventually got round to making this a wedge. The idea is, it's going to fashion itself to the side, 
and the controllers can sit on it side by side and be more usable and with it just bolting in I'll be able to move it around as much as I like. So I'll get that done and show you. Right here you go. You can see that's now in place. Back out you can see the rest of the railway. Much easier to operate, it's really sturdy. It's going to be much easier to use, easier to look after things. And uh, yeah, nice little addition to the railway. Plus, it bolts on. So if I decide to move it, I can do. That's what I've always wanted. Right, thank you all.